in today's video I will be showing you how I pick up my clients from Sydney International Airport or the Terminal 1. My goodness, listen to this raindrops. If someone asks you what's trending in Sydney at the moment, you should say the rain. Good afternoon everyone. Today I will be picking up people from the Sydney International Airport which is not far from where I am at the moment. Today is 5th of Jan. Most of the people are already on their annual leave. Most of the people, some of them, they're still working. We're supposed to be in the summer, in the middle of the summer here in Sydney. But this doesn't look as a summer at all. This rain became a big, big trend here in, 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 in the whole country. And this is another day in my chauffeur life. My name is Ratko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. When it comes to the Sydney International Airport, it's one of the, if not the busiest uh, terminal in, in the whole country. It's only one terminal. Some people say it's small, but I think it's a decent size. And if you're arriving in Sydney uh, on international flight, you'll be arriving to Terminal 1, one and only. Late December, as a chauffeur, we are taking a lot of people to both international or, or domestic airport, mainly holiday makers. It's 5th of January, most of the people are on annual leave. People are spending time with their families, so as a chauffeur, this period mainly we're taking people to and from the airports. When it comes to the airports, uh, there are three terminals in Sydney, which one is for international flights, while the other two are for domestic. I go inside the terminal 15 minutes to half an hour after the plane lands. So that's for international flights. And my flight today is due to arrive in 10 to 15 minutes. I'm monitoring this flight on this app called Plane Finder. Plane Finder is a very useful app for, for monitoring the flights. It's a, it's a pure problem solver for us, for the chauffeurs, and also for anyone that is going to the terminals to pick someone. It doesn't matter if it's a family member or a friend. There's a free version of this app, but I usually pay five. 99 or 699 something like that uh, yeah it's a really really handy app when picking up from the international terminal i usually advise my clients so that i'm going to be on site which means inside the terminal usually approximately half an hour after the plane lands for the international terminal we pay 12 dollars and 22 cents for one hour so if i go in that one hour the passenger might come out but might not so if the passenger doesn't come out in that one hour we usually get charged a double parking or sometimes triple when it comes for the chauffeur getting charged for the double parking or even triple it's entirely up to the chauffeur's discretion whether he's gonna charge or not the client for the access fee at the terminal normally the passengers are showing up within that one hour especially if they're traveling alone or up to two people but sometimes if they are traveling as a family or as a as a group both large or small sometimes it takes more than one hour but then again if if they're traveling as a group it could be a corporate uh, booking and then the chauffeur or the company that is looking after them they may charge them for excess waiting time when it comes to the individual clients usually they show up in that one hour frame and um, they don't get charged for for that uh, waiting excess time however if that goes 90 minutes even 120 then the passenger may get charged for that um, additional waiting time <music> Already it's been 20 minutes after the plane landed, so I'm gonna make my way inside the terminal. As 
So once I arrive on site um, uh, international terminal, I go inside the specially designated area for the limousine operators. This is a place where it takes usually up to 50 to 100 uh, limousines inside. <music> Each operator has uh, a special permit, otherwise you, you won't be able to go inside this car park uh, with your regular vehicle. In order to get to the terminal from this uh, limo area, it takes a couple of minutes walking. It's a very, very short distance walk. You have to cross one set of lights, mainly for the pedestrians. Once I get physically to the terminal, the first thing that I'm going to do is just check the flights on the screen. To make sure where is the arrival code for the passengers of this flight. When it comes to passengers coming out at the arrival code on the international terminal in Sydney, there are two arrival codes. Qantas flights, which is the national carrier in Australia, they are arriving on arrivals A and most of the other flights they are arriving on exit B. Usually I'm sending a text to the client uh, after the plane lands. I'm gonna say, look, I just arrived on location. This is your chauffeur, Ray. Please meet me next to the exchange office. So obviously if they know me, if they're one of my regular clients that I'm taking to the airport on a regular basis, I don't have to hold any sign, but for any other person that I've never met before, I usually hold a whiteboard. Whiteboard means holding uh, an iPad, or I've seen some chauffeurs um, writing down the client's last name on a piece of paper with a black texter. However, I think um, that will do the job as well, but I think holding an iPad, a proper electronic device, it's uh, way, way more presentable and more professional, and that's what I'm doing. Once the passenger comes out, once the contact is made, we're gonna be proceeding to the vehicle and we are off to the destination where that client needs to go. This was another day in my chauffeur life.